We bring in criminal defense attorney and former Chicago police officer Dan Herbert. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Herbert. I want to start with that video of Floyd's arrest shown in court today. Floyd doesn't want to get into that police car saying that he's claustrophobic. This all happening before he's pulled out of the car and later pinned down by the neck under Chauvin's knee, of course. From what we see in these images, does this look like at least the beginning of a standard arrest? It, it looks like the beginning of a standard arrest for sure. And, and it looks like somebody that is, uh, that is clearly uh, does not want to go to jail and is, and is resisting. But you say at some point Chauvin's actions seemed to become unreasonable. When was that point in your mind and perhaps under the law? Well, it, it, in my mind, it's uh, the moment that the knee was placed on the neck. Uh, an important thing to remember here is he's in handcuffs. So, you know, he cannot move his arms. Um, just watching that video, like putting on my police hat, I was thinking the only thing that's movable here is essentially his legs. So uh, to kneel on the legs, to me, would have been just a much more appropriate thing. But for the law, they are allowed to use um, that type of a uh, restraining method. Um, you know, I, at I, I think- At that time, at that time, no longer now. Yeah, right, and most states don't have that anymore either. And the prosecution also showed video today of George Floyd in Cup Foods before his arrest, looking like he may be under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Walk us through why prosecutors would present video that arguably supports Chauvin's defense that Floyd was on drugs that day. You know, it's a really good question, Lindsay, and, and I thought the same thing. And as I watched it, um, I, I think uh, what the prosecutors were trying to do was to show that, um, you know, that Mr. Floyd's uh, aggression uh, kind of ticked off these police officers. And because they were acting out of emotion, that's what caused them to do this. It wasn't necessarily for the restraining, it was because they wanted to essentially show them a message. And that was my thought on why they would play that. And we heard more emotional testimony today from bystanders, some of them crying on the stand. How much did the prosecution help their case today with those witnesses, do you think? They really did. Um, you know, the, the more eyewitnesses that are there on the scene, that gives the state, uh, the prosecutors, the ability to call those witnesses um, and, re most importantly, replay the video. And they're allowed to do that because the defense has made the actions of the eyewitnesses um, central to this case. And also, they have those panoram panoramic views of the uh, outside of the store. And to me, I think they were trying to show that this was like a Norman Rockwell setting. It was not a, uh, a violent situation at all. Defense Attorney Dan Herbert, thank you so much. Appreciate your time and analysis. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.